The last three books, remember the last three books are the post-exilic. These are the books that were written after the exile. Genesis talks about God picking out one man, Abraham. Exodus shows how Abraham's seed grows into a nation of three million. Numbers shows how they, they head toward the promised land, and Leviticus is how they worship God. Deuteronomy gets them all set to enter the land. Joshua, they enter the land. Judges, they get mired down in the land. Samuel through Chronicles, they go through all these ups and downs of the kings. Now, at the end of Chronicles, they're, they're taken away captive by King Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. And so they're up there for 70 years, and then after 70 years, they come home. And that's where we are in Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. Those are the three books that were written when the Jews get home from the exile. And these three books are very, very essential for showing the preparation for the New Testament era. While uh, Gautama Buddha was living and teaching in India, and Confucius was in China, and so Socrates was in Greece, the one true and living God sent his servant Ezra. They're all contemporaneous. Uh, as the Lord's chosen messenger, he was to stir up the remnant, and that's the word for the people that came back from the exile, to return to their God. And this is what his message was. I mean, what a sermon. I mean, he was a preacher, and his life is amazing. God wants consecrated servants. He doesn't want anybody halfway. He wants all of you or none. Secondly, God wants separated servants. Worldliness blocks his blessing. Pilgrimhood brings his blessing. And one master will bless you if you will consecrate yourself to him. Ezra teaches the precious truths about God and worship and sin. The Lord of heaven can be known, the Lord of heaven can be worshipped, and the Lord of heaven and earth can be sinned against. And finally, Ezra traces the major steps in the victorious Christian life. And those steps are fascinating because he teaches us that they had to return to the Lord and rebuild an altar. They had to rebuild the temple. That's their worship. They had to resist their adversaries. They had to listen to the prophets, and they had to finish the job God called them to do. And those have been and always will be the steps in following Christ victoriously.